milestone homes talk to South Speedway. So uh, we've decided this year we're going to run a few interviews and interview a few drivers and uh, get a bit of information about how some of these uh, cars they drive or how they race and how they do set up so we can give the, the locals um, some sort of knowledge and uh, some of the uh, the words that get spoken around the track that people hear that don't understand so we're here to try and simplify things a little bit as much as we can. Stand next to me is uh, a local sprint car driver even though he lives in Christchurch, he's contracted to Nelson, is uh, Jason Smith, the big show they call him, down in Rupert, for uh, reasons he's probably not all that happy about but that's all good. Um, so Jason, obviously you started in super stocks a few years ago now, I remember racing yeah. and paint with you a few times back in the day but uh, yeah, I think that's coming up about 15 years ago, or so. Um, it just seems like yesterday, doesn't starting it? Starting to show our age. Yeah, that's it. Um, obviously, you had a uh, mix of success in the Superstop. Um, I know you enjoyed it a lot, and you know you keep coming back. And I think so. What actually got you in the sprint cars? Obviously, you had injuries, was it? Or? Yeah, look, it was time for a change. Not getting any younger, and the, and the stockies and, and Superstops are pretty hard on the body. Um, mm. So uh, we decided to step into the, the winged warriors. Nice. So, what's the main difference in driving one of these competitive superstock? Uh, probably just the speed. Um, you always go left, of course, so that's the same. But the sheer speed and acceleration is, is second to none compared to the, the superstock. Uh, power to weight, you know, superstock, you're around that 1400 kilos, 500 horsepower. These things are um, 600 kilos, 900 horsepower. So, and, and the bigger tyres, they, they hang on a whole lot better. Well, most of the time they do. <laughs> That's good. So, um, cost-wise, compared to a Superstop, you think the running cost is more or less take away the truck, but the yeah. actual running of the car, do you think it's uh, more or less than a Superstop? I think for us now, um, we, we had a bit of a crash fest in our, our opening season, uh, which was only half a season, but now that we've got over some of those hurdles and learned a wee bit, I think the cost is a bit less than uh, than the Superstops. Um, there's a lot of items that are, that are, I call them shelf items, you know, you can pop down to the local supplier and, and just buy them and bolt them on. Um, super stocks, you tend to have to tailor make everything, including engines. These things are, I don't know, they're just so grunty, I don't think it matters too much. Yeah. Um, I suppose, as a big super stock driver, what was the, um, the feeling amongst sprint car drivers when you turned up? Obviously there's a, a, a fair bit of... Uh, banter that goes on between the two classes and having a super stock driver come into a sprint car class, do you think they were a bit weary of you at the start with or not? No, I don't think so mate. Um, actually I think the, the shoe was on the other foot. I think I think the, uh, the experienced guys and the older guys wanted to teach me what it was about. So, um, you know, that, that I've done that, that's cool. Uh, they've taught me how to drive. Uh, sprint cars are a non-contact grade, you think. So, um, yeah. So, uh, no, nah, it's all good. I mean, nah, anybody going from one grade to another, you always get a lot of support. Um, some of the other drivers come out to our home in the, in the first week and started teaching us how to set the thing up and, and some of the regular maintenance you've got to do to them. So, you know, and, and um, a, a season and a half later, you know, we're their competition now. Um, we'd do the same for somebody else, shifting grades or stepping into the grade, no different. Um, it's just a speedway generosity. Nice. So obviously this season you've bought a new chassis, you've got a, a new package basically. Um, just give us a bit of a rundown on how that all eventually. Um, so yeah, um, I, I, I'm away from home a lot, that's, that's our business and it, and it takes me away a lot. Uh, so my wife, she, she does pretty much everything, she's organised the purchase of the new car. Uh, our crew chief Laurie, he's um, up and running the car up and, and got everything together and here we are for a practice. So. Saying big thanks to those guys. Um, I think it was up to me. I, I, I didn't know it. <laughs> Obviously, you've got good sponsors too, you know, they help out a lot. Um, so, why Nelson? Why did you pick to race out of Nelson? Um, we uh, we contracted out of Woodford Glen for I think about 13 odd years with the um, stock car and super stock. Um, and uh, we competed against Nelson a, a lot. I think in one year we did about seven trips here. Um, Nelson never let me win anything, but um, we certainly uh, gave it a good crack and it was always good fear racing. So changing from uh, Woodford Glen to a sprint car, because Woodford Glen don't run sprint cars, we had to change tracks. Um, and uh, it was just a thanks to Nelson, to contract to Nelson, uh, it's, uh, as averse to, to going to the local track in Christchurch. So yeah, it's just a thanks to the club. Oh, that's good though, we enjoy having you here, and like I said, it's a, a fully professional uh, setup you've got. And, uh, Kudos to you and your crew, it's um, 
that's pretty awesome sort of rig. So we're going to um, talk to the crew boss down there, the lovely wife, and she's yep. going to give us uh, Caden here a rundown and give him a bit of a rundown on the truck and just show us what's what and what goes where. And uh, like I said, it's a pretty good pretty kit. You'd be pretty proud of it. Yeah, very proud. Um, once again, crew chief Laurie and, and Josh actually organised and built this. Uh, I had very little to do with it. Um, and, and on that note, uh, there's a second car, brand new one, sitting at home, so um, uh, I don't know what Mother Bear's trying to tell me, but uh, maybe we'll need it. Or you know, a trailer. Yeah, it's maybe, gonna, yeah. maybe. But uh, no, big thanks to them, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Oh, that's awesome. I'll oh, we'll let you go and get ready for the, your first practice here in Nelson, and yep. uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. I think you um, do the race here, the second meeting in, so it'd be good to see you back out here. Sounds good once again. The team will tell me where I need to be. <laughs> Cheers, Jason. Thanks, man. this season so that we can carry a spare engine. So a spare engine will be in here. Uh, we haven't got it yet, but that's coming. Uh, this here is just basically our storage cupboard. And in here we keep our engine heater and gear bag, the shovel and obviously our lead and our high-vis vests, a ladder in case we need to get the bulkier items from up top. And uh, yeah, the basics really. Calendar and keys, etc. for the season so everyone knows what for what. Uh, then we come to obviously our toolkit, uh, and we carry everything from any of our lubricants, uh, so oil, silicon, yeah, brake fluid, etc. So all fluids are kept in here. And then in here we just have all of our bolts uh, and some more high vis vests, etc. So all of it's ready to grab if we need it. Okay, down the end here we have just our diff gear oils and our greases, um, so for changing our gears, we don't tend to change our gears very often, uh, but there are a couple of tracks where we would, our bigger tracks like Bay Park, we would definitely change gears for. Um, and then basically throughout the bottom we've just got rags, um, that one's an empty drawer, I don't know how we managed to achieve that. Uh, we've had a bit of a clean out for this season so we can be a bit more organised, but just some of the smaller, finer items that we would regularly use so on our Nerf bars and of course our Zeus clips, um, those types of things which can get lost pretty quick, especially when you take a whole lot of Zeus clips off and leave them on the front. <laughs> uh, and here we just basically, is extra storage for some more tools, drills, spinners, torque tubes, 
um, yeah, basically the bigger, bulkier items, and of course some more tools because everything's imperial on these cars, which is good. So it keeps it simple, and everything's there, ready to go. Um, our other drawers over here, we've got some bird cages, some torsions, uh, some torsion stops, <laughs> um, Jacob's ladders, and some uh, wing arms. And again, some, just some more wing components and straps uh, with our brake components down the bottom and a tyre groover. So we can uh, pretty much be self service in here. Then we've got mounting for our steering box, spare steering box, some spare front wings, uh, some torsion bars, some shocks, radiator, yeah. and then we have a uh, spare rear end and three front rear and front axles. Uh, these here are all kitted up, ready to go. So if we do have an off, it's not too much of a drama to change. And then we've just got our wheel spaces, uh, obviously here, and anything to do with tyre and set up our set up locks. Um, top wing, we only carry one. Um, one year we probably needed to carry more than one, but that's okay. Uh, and then we just have in here, it's just basically everything on for ace night. We, Jason just utilises this area for what he needs and we're good to go. Um, and then the tool cabinet, so that it's reachable from just outside the truck, so we don't have to keep coming in and out of the truck. So in, in here we have, uh, we've just had self engineering installed for us a um, basically an engine crane, so when we're going to change an engine, we're able to do it at the back of the truck and uh, we don't have any problems, so hopefully we can change an engine between meetings or if we needed to. Uh, with the rest of the truck, we've got side component storage. Uh, this, this side, we basically just carry a fuel. So all of our fuel jugs, um, and yeah, basically we'd, we'd put in the uh, jack and the rest of it, but we've got all of that on the other side at the moment, just because of this trip. fridge, controllers, etc. power for here. So we've got stereo for the back of the truck so while we're at the track we can have uh, some music going. Um, and then in here we have a toilet and storage. We have TV so obviously that's good to keep everyone uh, amused on the long journeys. Uh, there's room up there for two of us to sleep. Um, we've got a... just a... just, just pulled along and climb up there and that gives us access to, well we can store stuff up there as well as obviously sleep. Trusty fridge, every, every truck should have a fridge. Uh, and then we've got plenty of storage for food, bedding, team uniform, uh, etc. We've also got our lounge area here which we can drop the table and that also converts into another bed uh, where you can sleep two people comfortably as well. And that's pretty much our travelling abode for, for our speedway season.
Yeah. Eat when you're in the gesture? Yeah. Okay, so that's the one with that other right rear. Yeah. Well, Tony. <laughs>